Hi, 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 hi. This is Kai Moon Realtor. I work for Agora Realty Group in Centerville, Ohio, and real estate is indeed my superpower. So I just wanted to let you know this is my first YouTube video, so I'm trying to do everything I can to provide as much information as possible on why you should hire a realtor as a buyer. Today, we're going to focus solely on buyers. Uh, just full disclosure, all real estate agents are human with a beating heart. We have feelings. So please treat us kindly. And if for some reason you feel like you are not a good fit with your realtor, just kindly let them know and provide them valuable feedback so that they can apply that feedback in their business and only become better. My niche is VA loans and for sight unseen buyers who are also for some home buyers. So what I do for all of my clients, I meet with my clients. However, a lot of my clients are out of state. So I will FaceTime or Skype with my clients. And when we go see houses or when they want to put in offers, um, side unseen offers we go ahead and meet them at the inspection and from there I usually try to drive them around in my car per se and just show them around the neighborhood so that's something I do uh, basically uh, buyers realtors educate the buyers on the market all the paperwork all the fees everything that they are to be expected and one of the most important things a realtor needs to do is to make sure they pre-qualify their buyers now um, let's say I have a buyer and they want to stay in the mortgage range of about 1500 a month they have to realize and understand that with that 1500 a month you're going to have um, utility bills in addition to that. So I usually go ahead and call the listing agent and ask the last six months or so of utility bills and make sure that that's still in their budget. But right now with the market being so incredibly intense, there's not enough homes for sale. We don't have a lot of time. So we have to try to submit offers as fast as possible because houses are going within hours under contract. So I evaluate clients, clients financial abilities uh, and I just want to make sure this disclosure is made here. This is super important for the general public to understand. Mm, real estate agents are independent contractors, meaning we only uh, get paid when we close on a sale. We do not get paid hourly. We do not get, um, you know, some kind of um, bonuses or anything with getting into our car, showing like 50 homes and having that buyer potentially change their mind. So we just spent sometimes months and months and months. I've worked with some of my buyer clients for well over a year, two years, three years, and then they just decide that they want to rent and that's okay. But it's not okay for all agents. It's okay with me because I want everybody to have a home. I don't care how that home is going to manifest. Is it going to be a rental? Is it going to be a home purchase? Whatever. I'm going to help you. Um, we are independent contractors. I already based that. We work all hours of the day and it is okay for us to set boundaries and limits with our clients. A lot of realtors don't do that. They kind of run rapid. However, I think it's really important to straight up let your clients know, hey, these are my working hours. This is when um, you should contact me or should not contact me. I'm just letting you know full disclosure. Realtor's job is extremely, extremely, extremely high pressure and stressful at times. Uh, we have to provide all of our clients with blank documents to, so that the clients can familiarize themselves with all the paperwork prior to submitting an offer and submitting everything else that we need to um, in, a, in the event of our offer. Uh, so it's very, very, very important to ask questions for, from your realtor. Uh, basically what we do is we wear about a thousand hats. So we need to make sure that we actually listen to our buyer's needs and make sure they are qualified for those needs and see what's a must and what's a, ah, I can live without that. For example, a porch. I want a porch, but in the seller's market, is it gonna be the most important thing for you? Mm, probably not, or at least it shouldn't be because you're going to miss out on a potentially amazing home. Let's see here. 
we meet with clients, we explain agency, we commit to clients and we explain why they need to be committed to us and we are committed to them. The best way to remember this is old CAR, which stands for obedience, loyalty, disclosure, accounting and reasonable care. Realtors are always going to be obedient to their buyer clients if they're working on behalf of the buyer. Loyalty means if my buyer is telling me personal information, that information comes with me to my grave. I will not talk about personal on information with anybody ever disclosure buyers are to give um, buyer realtors are to give buyers full disclosure on the property which means residential property disclosure agency disclosure lead based paint what that all means text me 609-251-7068 i will walk you through everything accounting so buyers agents are responsible for the earned money deposit that just means kind of like you know, a wedding ring. When you get engaged, you take that person seriously because they gave you a deposit. Now they're going to put a ring on it because you have a deposit to prove that. It's the same with earned money deposit. Thank you, prep agent, for that amazing example. Reasonable care means basically use care in everything you do as a realtor. Just use your brain and have excellent communication skills and do the best job that you can for your buyers. We are at six minutes and I'm under seven minutes. I work for Agora Realty Group, hashtag I'm on Realtor. I am here to help the general public help understand what a realtor do, does and why we so absolutely deserve a paycheck at the end of the day and why you should work with me. You can absolutely text me directly or get me on messenger 609-251-7068 i hope you have a beautiful day and that this wasn't super painful for you bye